All right, so I was screwing around with some dovetails and practicing uh, for this inlaid dovetail video I'm doing. And I have this set of dovetails that I'm not too happy with. I'll show you why. One is I marked my outside wrong. I had this crack in here that I was gonna put on the inside because it was a sample piece. In addition, there's some pretty large gaps. They're like, I don't know, three and a half one hundredths. And so I'm gonna show you a really cool trick for dovetails. These dovetails are not at all lost. You know, if I was just beginning, I would be pretty happy with this. And I'm gonna show you a trick that no one will ever notice these gaps. You know, you can see there's a gap here. And there's just some gaps in there. They're, they're, they're okay, but they're not great. I'm not super happy with them. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna glue this up really quick. And I'm gonna show you a really neat trick. So when I resaw boards, what I'll do is I'll blow, I'll use my blower and, and blow out the bandsaw so it's all clean. And then when you resaw, you can see you get crazy fine sawdust build up inside your saw. So I'll keep that and, and use it for my project. So this was walnut from resawing these boards. And again, this is a practice piece. So there's a lot of flaws in it that I would never do in a project. And I just was doing them real quick. So we've got that glued in there. Now, what I like to do, first we're gonna just make sure everything's in there good. So now everything's tight and seated and you can see we have a couple gaps right there, there, little gap there and there, and then I have this piece of chip out here. So what I like to do is I just take some glue and go over my joint Rub it in with your finger, kind of smash it into those grooves. Same thing here. Oops, big chunk. So I just really smash it into those open spots. Rub my finger across. Just give it a wipe with a wet rag for some cleanup. And that'll kind of clean it off of your joint, but it still leaves glue in those cracks, which in and of itself is gonna help make your dovetails look a lot better. But then I take this really fine resaw dust, and I just take it, and I just sprinkle it all over. And you just take your finger, rub it in there, and then when you go to sand this, you're gonna sand it off all the maple and it'll just be where the glue is left. So same thing here, just rubbing in all those cracks. I'm gonna let this dry and I'll come back and show you what it looks like after we're done. So remember, save your resaw dust, it'll help you fix your joints. This works for finger joints, dovetails, any sort of joinery, even miter joints where you have a little gap kind of running down the edge there. And there you go. And even if you want to, if you really have it in some offensive places, you can just take your rag and wipe it off the top there. Now that our glue is dried, I'll, sh I'll sand this up to show you how well this works. And you can see all that sawdust is gone. I mean, so are all the gaps. So with a little bit of spray lacquer, you can see completely gone there. <laughs> 